Ah, everywhere. No, I love this place. No, no. Um, it was yesterday out of New Orleans. I was in uh, near Lafayette, and it was very, very interesting also. Mm. But I, I enjoy very much being here in New Orleans, mm -hmm. just walking in the streets. Uh, it is a beautiful mm, town. It's, a beautiful, mm. it's like Paris in the spring. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm told that the spring is the best season for you uh, mm, here spring in New Orleans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The summer, stay away from. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Monsieur Bibon, or Ambassador Bibon? What is the significance of a project like this to the people of France? Well, it's a very, very impressive project, you know, and uh, it's very important to us because it reminds us that uh, Edgar Degas, who is uh, one of the most famous painters in France, very, very well renowned and uh, uh, very well liked in France, lived here in New Orleans, which sometimes uh, the French citizens seem to forget. So. I think that this project going on at the way it is going on helps us to remind us um, that he was uh, part of New Orleans heritage and therefore that the links between your city, New Orleans and France are much more important links that we sometimes think about. And so I think it's a very, very interesting project and a very impressive one. Do you believe that um, the project such as this can influence the relationship between our two countries, between France and the uh, United States? And, and if so, mm -hmm. in what way? I think it can. I think it can in the way that precisely it shows that um, uh, in spite of the uh, difficulties that we can have from time to time between our two countries on such and such political issue, that the bonds between our two countries go back to many, many years uh, ago. And part of our common history, yeah. uh, and that most of all in the field of culture. We've had those bonds for many, many years. Never forget that uh, Degas was uh, here uh, at the end of the 19th century, uh, that brings us a long time ago, um, and that many other uh, artists uh, from France have been uh, inspired by your, by your city, whether it be in painting or in uh, music, for instance. And uh, you can see the emotion and the tradition of the uh, links between your city and, and France. If you just look at the emotion that uh, raised in France, that aroused in France, when you had this terrible blow with uh, Katrina in 2005, it was immediate in France. The reaction was immediate. The emotion was very strong and people immediately showed that they were very generous and they were ready to help this city because they know a lot about this city and they're very fond of it. Mm. I remember um, covering right after mm -hmm. and, um, a piece where the, the French government came immediately mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and I was really, uh, as a mm -hmm. reporter, overwhelmed mm -hmm. by uh, mm -hmm. the response that was so genuine, so immediate mm -hmm. and so passionate. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. personally touched by that. Quite right. Uh, you see, when the French citizens come to this country, uh, one of the cities they, they prefer to go to is uh, New Orleans. They run to this place because they know that this is, um, it has a little bit of French flavor here. Yes, it does. And they want to see how it is. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ambassador, um, can you explain briefly the history behind this honor that was presented today to uh, to serve. Mm -hmm. Is it sir? Uh, well, we don't have those titles <laughs> in France, I suppose <laughs> in Britain it would be. But it's uh, Chevalier, Knight. Chevalier. <laughs> knight in the order of the uh, arts and letters, this is what we call. This is the most important distinction in the world of, uh, of culture. Um, it is uh, usually bestowed upon artists or people of culture who have worked a lot to uh, promote French uh, influence um, and, uh, and uh, the French touch, I would say, in the, in the world of culture. And uh, this is traditionally um, uh, a distinction that we bestow upon a great artist um, in, in America, uh, whether they come from the field of uh, the movie industry or, um, or paintings or, uh, or music. So it tells a lot about uh, what we have done today for um, a man like David Villarubia. Uh, and it is clearly uh, a show of gratitude to what he has been doing for so many years here for the Degas House and for, more generally, the influence of France here in New Orleans. 
and I think it is well deserved, <laughs> and it was, to put it simply, the least we could do uh, towards such a, such a great man. Mm -hmm. What did what did um, uh, Monsieur Nazir? Mm -hmm. What encouragement can you give to private citizens who wish to undertake to support projects of this nature, mm -hmm. which truly um, is a is a mission of love? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, what words of inspiration mm -hmm. uh, can you offer, or what call? Mm -hmm. uh, to action can you offer mm -hmm. other citizens? Well, first of all, I have no doubt about uh, the American public generosity. I've seen it in uh, many other instances, and I know that they are very generous and they can support a project like that one. As you know, there has been also some support on behalf of the French authorities and the French citizens also to help this project. I think the um, only thing I could say is by, mm, it, it's just to say that by knowing better our history and the history between our two countries and the links and the bonds that can exist on, 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 on such a, a figure like uh, Gautega, by knowing this history, it's the best way to know how we are and who we are today. Uh, it's by um, improving your knowledge of history, by helping people to understand that history, that we are able to work together in, for the future. Right? It's not just looking at the past, it's looking at the past in order to promote the future and to promote our relationship between our two countries in the future. This is what I could say. Which is very, very important. <laughs> and finally, well actually I have two more questions. Wow. Can you share with me the impressions that you have um, after this tour of, this, of the Degas House here and um, learning um, some details with, um, with David Olivier mm -hmm. on, on your visit and tour mm -hmm. to the property? I think it's, uh, first of all, it's beautifully done. The way this house has been restored and put back into its uh, original form, I would say, is, uh, is very impressive. Um, and then by walking around this house and listening to what David had to tell me about uh, Degas' life, etc., um, you understand much better um, this artist. You understand much better his work. You understand much better the, um, the living conditions uh, of that time, his family, his uh, cousins, his uh, brothers, etc., um, what was the cotton industry mm -hmm. at, at that time the whole background for this artist and I think this is very interesting and it's always very useful to know a little bit more about an artist's background. Very much so because it gives an introspective. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, <laughs> I understand that in this country the honor is primarily bestowed upon citizens of France who are living abroad. Why has the Legion made an exception in the case of David well, we, uh, we do both. Uh, we bring distinction to French citizens who have uh, uh, done their contribution to the relationship between uh, the United States and France or a city like New Orleans and France. But we do it also for American citizens. Of course, this is uh, more special. Uh, it's something that we uh, look at with great precision and uh, we uh, uh, we have this distinction precisely bestowed upon those who really deserve it. Uh, but then it tells a lot about what precisely has been the achievement of David Villarubia. And uh, there are not so many American citizens um, who has got that distinction. So I think all New Orleans can be proud of... And uh, we are. <laughs> and we very much are. And we, we wish you a wonderful, safe travel back. Thank you very much. We look forward to welcoming you again here in New Orleans very, very soon. <laughs> You'll see me again. Thank you, and I'm very as happy to come. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do just that. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Merci, Merci beaucoup. <laughs>